I live in Mont Pearl, Vermont, and I've lived here for 29 years, and it's been an interesting adventure living in Vermont. I went to Mont Pearl High School. That was a fun adventure. I made great friends. I'm still friends with to this day. I was part of the yearbook club. I was part of a unified sports Special Olympics for 15 years. I did basketball. I was a great bowler. I also went to a vocational school at the Regional Technical Center. I took computer networking one year. And I kind of excelled in that. And then next then the next semester I took graphics and communications. And so I learned a lot from that class and hopefully someday I like to own my own production company. I make friendly videos. I I also write screenplays, play whites, uh free YouTube downloads and recurring TV shows. I'm feeling a high school student for the website for Green Mail and Self Advocates. His name is Kyle and he's on um, facilitated communication. He's a new advocate and it's time for him to shine in the spotlight. In the adult world I can make my own choices. Making my own choices has changed me emotionally. It has made me a more relaxed person and a happier and more confident. I actually did one of myself for going to UVM. It's on the website. I'm Stone Peebles. I want to tell you about my new adventure. I always dreamt about going to college or a big university. Someday, I finally got that chance to. In June, I got a college application. And I filled it out, as everyone encouraged me to do. And I did. And I want to say thank you to my Sister and my support staff for encouraging me to do this application. And a month later, on July 1st, I got my acceptance letter. I got accepted to UVM. I got involved in this new grant called Think College. It's for people with disabilities to actually have a chance to go to a real college. I have a student ID. I take the bus in the morning and in the afternoon by myself. I have made new friends. I'm doing really well. I got two B pluses and two essays I did. And I'm just doing a great job and just enjoying life. I create music videos of Days of Lives and the Nanny. For example, one of my videos, Maxwell Sheffield and Frank Vine's Love Story, has reached 3,170 views. This was from a TV show called The Nanny, and I'm proud of its success. I'm a huge fan of Charlie Shines. He was on Days of Lives for eight years in The Nanny, my two favorite TV shows of all time. And I found him on Facebook one day, and he's a great guy. I'm just a huge fan. And this is a screenplay called Live with Sung Peebles, a uh, fun with cooking in the kitchen for Sung Peebles. You may have met her. And Charlie Shaughnessy. I think he's a, a really funny comic. But I work for Green Mountain Self Advocates. I worked there for five years. I do a lot of different stuff. For social media, I also do training. I teach people about sexuality. And I'm a disability educator. I help have people aware of disability issues. <laughs> Do you have any of the flip camera stuff on the computer here? Mm-hmm. You do? Okay, good. In the first four years of my school, I went through the academic program. The academic program gave me the basis that I needed to cope with the adult world. In 2010, we got a bill passed on respectful language. It was signed by Peter Shumlin, a governor. 
and Green Mill South Africa's had a huge role in that bill. And it's about respecting people, not to call them retards, to be respected. I do a lot of workshops. Last workshop I did, I did with my sister. I we do it on the social media safety, and then we do it on sisters. Was it like living with someone who has a disability? It's like more like a discussion with the other people that came to the workshops. I get a lot from that job. I have a lot of confidence. I think I'm a little cocky at times, so. But who's not? Sometimes I can show off, but I'm keep, I'm kept in line by my boss, so that helps a lot. So I have good friends there. I have a name, and people respect me for who I am and for what I do over there. I would love to stay here for a few more years, but I really want to go to California and have my own apartment out there. But I also want my own apartment in Montpelier. But I see myself at my own production company, hopefully in Montpelier or California someday. I would love to get my independence. But at the same time, I'll miss my folks. But I, I think it's time for me to experience life. As an, as an adult, and it should be an interesting exper experience for me to learn about, to live by myself, to work for myself, and to just live life to its fullest.